Back deep for the Tigers is number 47, Isaiah Keys. He was the man who killed the Rhinos last year with 303 all-purpose... Oh, just leave it. 303 all-purpose yards mm -hmm. in the game last year. Here's the kickoff. It's picked up by one of the upbacks and returned. Bear Bernardi and number seven, Andrew Getty, in on the stop. This will be a 34-yard attempt. Snap is a little bit high, lining or gets it down. Kick is stuffed. It's blocked. The Hanover Rhino is coming up with a huge block. Dustin Lauber laying his body out in front of the kick. And he swats it down. We've got a, 20, uh, a play clock here down on the field at Waynesboro, but the officials are keeping the time manually. Cantu with a deep pass. It's caught. Breaking away for a touchdown is Darren... Gardner, no, it's Isaiah Keys, the man who killed the Rhinos last year, and he makes his first appearance of this game with a 40 or 56 yard touchdown. 7 56 left in the first half. Calling up the signals, looking his fingers on his throwing hand. Takes the snap, looking to the left. Throws for Weldon. He goes to the ground, and he has secured the catch. Inbounds, clock keeps rolling. And with that catch, Weldon has picked up the first down and moved into second place on the Hanover Rhinos all-time, all-purpose yardage list. Move over wheels as Weldon has passed Zach Carrick. Fourth and six. Bailey to the right. Acevedo had both hands on it and it falls to the ground. I formation, two wide, and the tight end Leininger is on the line to the right side. Thomas sneaking up again in the middle. Here's a fake. Cantu scrambling for his life to the left. He's going to tuck it and run. Slips past Harden. He's in the open field. It's Smith trying to get the angle on him. Cantu inside the 10, inside the 5. He's across the goal line. And it's a touchdown for Franklin County. Well... When he made the best Rhinos tackling, uh, perimeter def tackler on the field miss, it was off to the races. Bailey under center, eye formation behind him again. Roland Johnson is the fullback, dropping back to pass, five-step drop, pump fake, pump fake again. He gets hit, now he's escaping. Now he's broken contained to the left side, trying to pick up a block, cuts back on Branch and slips inside the 40. It's a first down for the Rhinos and the most effective Run of the day for Corbin Bailey. So it'll be fourth and one from about the one and a half yard line. Boy, this hasn't been pretty down here on the goal line, but if they could just fall forward for a couple of feet, this could get this could make this game really exciting. Tigers crowding the line. Bailey gives to Simmons. Juke step to the right. Plows over the goal line, and it's a touchdown for the Hanover Rhinos. Boy, they really needed that. 10-37 to go here in the fourth quarter, and Sean Simmons puts the Rhinos on the board. And it looks like they're going to line up to go for two. Bailey under center, I formation in behind, it's Simmons the bell cow, with Johnson in front of him, here's a pitch to Simmons, he'll try the left side, and he's swarmed and brought down at about the two yard line, so the conversion is no good, lining her back deep to punt, it looks like the Rhinos are loading up the rush, they don't have any up backs deep to protect, expect the house to come here. One guy backs out. Oh, they get a rush. Leininger shanks it. It's picked up by Gardner on the fly at the 29. Sneeringer. Oh, that's one of those moments as a coach. He was jumping up and down and yelling, no, no, no. But yes, 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 when Gardner picked it up because he saved them some yardage. Third and 15, and if the Rhinos want to avoid a really uncomfortable situation on fourth down, they're going to need some yardage here. Bailey out of the gun, doubles formation, gets some pressure, steps up, throwing deep into double coverage again, but it's Allman, the biggest receiver on the team, and it's picked off. 
but they're gonna say he was out of bounds. Keys ranging over from his safety spot on that side, but he ran out of real estate. 5.06 to go, and it's a really uncomfortable 4th and 15, but instead they're sending on the punt unit. Gary Ondeko Jr. with his 4th punt of the day. Try to pin them deep on this one. Sky high kick. Bouncing at the 14. Going to roll down inside the 10. Still going. Still going. Where's this one going to come to rest? At the 5. 3rd and 4. 3rd and a long 4. Coming up for this Rhino defense. Clock down to 3-10. Philip Ahold in motion to the left. Five seconds left on the play clock. He gets it off just in time. Throwing over the middle. Behind lining but he slides down with the catch. And that's big. Hanover's going to have to start using their timeouts here now. And here we are, 14-6 Tigers with 2.34 to go in the fourth quarter. Russ with some room on the outside. Blue tracking him down. They're going to push him out of bounds, and that's going to be a huge help for the Rhinos. Number 34, Reggie Rush, but they're going to say he went out of bounds Reggie sideways, so they're going to keep the clock rolling. They've at least got a shot at this. Bailey in the gun. Two wide receivers to each side. Four-man rush sidesteps it. He's hit for a moment. He's going to run. Should have thrown it away. He's nailed, and the Rhinos are going to have to call timeout. Unless, they, unless the scoreboard's wrong and they don't have one left. And that must have been the case because the clock runs out. And the Rhinos have fallen to the Franklin County Tigers in the opening game. Obviously,